What is the role of old age in a person's life? Why can't we live our life without growing old? A child, I understand, he grows up, reaches youth, reaches adulthood, and keeps on living this way. Why? After the peak, there is a new phase of growing old. I don't think that we should call it growing old. There is the part of life in which a person doesn't know how to do anything because he doesn't have the brains. And then, from nature, he's not given the force in order for him not to do foolish things and harm himself and harm others. Suppose, till the age of 18, 20, that they too, they, they have the strength and they use it in our times, we see how. But for children, we see that they're not given lots of strength. If their, their strength corresponds with their brain, that's good, but not to have more physical strength than the brains they have, because it could be like a little child, but, you know, he's like this great big monkey that can do lots of problems in the world. So there is the age of adolescence, till the age of 20, suppose. Then from the age of 20 till the age of 60, 65, doesn't matter, more or less, that a person could be beneficial both for himself and also for others. And this is how he acts. So why doesn't it end there? Why another phase? Because he has another phase of adding wisdom to his life. This phase that we're talking about is the phase in which a person derives all the fruits, all the good results from life, that if he knows the secret of life, how to correctly live life, he can add to everyone. You're looking at society in a way that you divide them into individuals. And I divide society into young age, till the age of 20, suppose. In society, there's this one part till the age of 20. Then there is a part from 20 to 60. And then the part from 60 and on till 120. And every age has a role of its own. Three-thirds the younger age of adolescence, they have to learn and they have to be taken care of by the older people, meaning under their supervision. Yeah, to be under the supervision of the second and third groups. The second group is per se, but it can't exactly function only per se because it's gradually advancing towards the third group. So it has to receive, especially from them, the guidance of whether they're functioning correctly. And the third group is the group that has acquired the wisdom and it keeps on studying. The learning that I'm talking about is to learn about how should society be correctly connected, what goal should it achieve in life, and then how can the elderly influence the young, groups number one and two. Because, as it says, the elder is he who has acquired wisdom, and therefore we have to use them. Therefore, a person has no rest, and you're right. I remember myself. You reminded me of myself. When I was young, I looked at old people and I was thinking, what are they living for? I looked at things rationally, naturally, and asked myself, what are these people living for? They're sitting and waiting to die. Have mercy. What's the use? No one's benefiting from it. The body keeps on living. We have to correct the matter. 
It's like you have a car that's standing in your backyard and it's working all the time, using up fuel, making noise, disturbing everyone, emitting gases. What is it working for? It's not driving anywhere. It can't be useful. Turn it off. And that's it. And there were such methods as to what to do with the elderly. Finish them off, and that's it. These things happened in the past. Because humanity doesn't understand that all of us are as one body. The young, the middle-aged and the elderly, and that we're all as one body, as one man, that has all of these traits, all of these abilities, and that everyone has to help everyone else. And if we look at all the population this way, suddenly we'll be able to understand why our life that had the expectancy of 30 years. 300 years ago, people lived till the age of 35, 40, mostly. They didn't even hit 40. Only 300 years ago. Today, it's three times as much. People reach the age of 90. And it's not considered something extraordinary. Why does it happen this way in nature? Probably. There's a huge benefit to it, only we don't know how to use this.